What is going on guys, this is the Man's Game here and uh, here we are part 3 on our Skyrim walkthrough and uh, I have been reading the comments guys and I'm gonna be honest I've been getting a little bit of hate lately and uh, I can't understand why I mean uh, I found ways to improve my commentary a lot of you guys didn't like the fact that uh, I was talking over cutscenes or whatever um, of people talking so you know I'm trying to fix that I'm not gonna I'm gonna try to you know cut that out a lot more I'm not gonna talk during the uh, people's cutscenes because I can understand you guys want to hear them which is why later on in this episode I actually turn on these subtitles just in case uh, that way you can read what they're saying too if I'm going a little bit too fast or whatever you can just pause the video but uh, anyways I do apologize for that and uh, here we are we are uh, in Riverwood we are off to um, White Castle, I believe the name is. White Run, or something like that. Um, and we just uh, beat the crap out of this panther thing. Now, off to the White Run, you guys. Uh, you know, you guys know Skyrim. There's a lot, a lot of side missions, a lot of them. And uh, you're gonna encounter a lot of them on your way to your uh, regular quest. Now, it's up to you if you want to do them or not. Uh, I suggest do them simply because. You know, it does have an effect later on in the game. Uh, I haven't beat the game yet, but my brother has. So uh, if it looks like I kind of know things, guys, it's because, uh, you know, I have him with me, uh, you know, helping me out. So if it looks like I'm doing puzzles way too easily, like I already know them, it's because I'm having my brother helping me out. Since uh, I want to do this walkthrough real quick for you guys, I, I want to, uh, you know, show you guys how to do the walkthrough and not struggle in front of your faces because uh, I'm sure that could be a bit of annoying. But anyways... Again, I'm not really the best Skyrim player ever. I've never played an Elder Scrolls game in my life, guys. This is my first Skyrim game. Uh, I have never played an RPG game. The only RPG game I've played before was uh, Fable, th Fable 2 and Fable 3. So, uh, anyways, this is a uh, side mission right here. We can kill this troll, help these guys out, and holy shit! Ah! <laughs> I get stuck right there. I forget that you can't run and jump at the same time. So, he, he kind of bashed in the end. But, the, anyways, we take him down. And uh, these guys right here you handle are yourself uh, a well. pair of wolves, You could guys, make for so, a uh, decent shield, brother. Out. An, an order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in Yurvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. You look strong. Alright guys, uh, fair spoiler alert right here. Cover your ears, skip the video if you guys don't want to hear this part. But uh, I'm going to tell you, for those of you who, just, who are watching my side of the walkthrough and already beat the game, they just want to see how I did it. Uh, those guys over there are actually a pair of werewolves, guys. And uh, who they were talking about was the leader or whatever. And uh, werewolves are going extinct in this game. So uh, I guess there's a whole, whole story to the werewolves. I, I love it. It was a good story. I watched my brother do it and it was pretty cool. Not going to say everything because I don't want to spoil it completely. But those were a pair of werewolves. And uh, you can become one of them, which is what they were talking about. And, uh, you know, you got only a few can be become one. And, uh, you know, we might be that lucky few. Well, we actually we are because I just said it. But, uh yeah, so here we are. We're gonna go talk to the uh, the leader of this district. I believe this was White Run, uh, the name of it. And uh, we just gotta talk to this Imperial Guard or whatever. He doesn't want to let us in, but uh, we convince him otherwise, telling him we got urgent news of uh, a dragon. And uh, you know he lets us in, of course. Now I, I want to know from you guys if you guys you know if you guys like this that I, I tell you guys you know what's going on and stuff like that. And I hope you guys are enjoying this because. You know, I, I understand a couple episodes, you know, the last two episodes weren't that great. And, uh, you know, I had some things to fix, and I did fix them. So, uh, anyways, I hope you guys do understand that and everything, you know. But, uh, oh, oh, here we are. Okay, so we're in White Run now. There we go. And uh, now we're in White Run. Just listening to none of these guys. Uh, like I said, guys, a lot to explore. There's, like, it's a live world over here in Skyrim, in the land of Skyrim. So, uh, you know, I'm just listening to the conversation and everything, you know. Just walking around and minding my own business, you know. But uh, anyway, so I'm running over here and I hear someone say, give me your money. So I was like, what? Pull out my sword right here. I was like, what? And nobody's over there. And uh, just put that sword back away. Save it for later. <laughs> so anyways, we just got to go up these steps right here. And uh, like I said, talk to the king of this district. He's not the king, like sort of the uh, a general or some type, you know, uh, you know, a little bit lower than a king. But uh, anyways, we're going to go inside here, 
And uh, he's going to have a little bit of a mission for us. But uh, anyways, you guys, uh, we're about to start a cutscene. So I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, listen in. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgraf is not receiving visitors. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. But it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute. Especially now. What I want to know is... What exactly happened at Helgen? By Ismir, Irileth was right! What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... That is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps? Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors? Hmm? What? Project? You think you could help me? I really don't think so. The Jarl can be found in the Great Hall, probably sitting on his Jarl's throne. Not over here in a wizard's laboratory. Faringar. I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. An old tomb, built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. This is a priority. Anything we can use to fight this dragon. Neither am I. Alrighty guys, welcome back. So it uh, looks like we got a little bit of a job to do. Now, if you guys didn't notice, the game gets a little bit weird and annoying and buggy when you're in the middle of a conversation and you just start hearing other people talk over yours. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed that right there in that cutscene, but uh, yeah, that, that was happening. That gets a little bit annoying, but 
you know, just a minor bug, kind of weird thing. Or maybe it's not a bug, it's just just happens i guess i mean a giant game like this certain things like that are supposed to happen but uh, anyways we are off to do a quest for this uh, sorcerer guy now if you guys didn't see right there uh you have to actually let you know the the imperial king general whatever you have to, he has to talk to him first i went to talk to him first and it didn't work uh, you gotta wait for him to talk to him and uh, what you can do is actually fast travel guys you can fast travel back to riverwood and uh, <laughs> I, I, I didn't know about that. My brother told me, you, you retard, what the hell are you doing? And I was like, what? But uh, anyways, I walked all the way back over here. Uh, you know, I walked halfway because you have to climb mountains and stuff. And uh, it was taking me forever, guys. So I was like, I was really, really frustrated. He just comes in and he just says, you idiot, you can fast travel. I was like, what? Never heard of such a, such a weird magical thing. <laughs> But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys the way to get to the um, I don't know what what it's called. I forgot. I guess the dragon's den or whatever. But I'm not gonna skip this part. I'm gonna show you guys how to get there. It's a little bit tricky. Even I get a little bit confused, as you guys will see. But uh, you know, there there are certain ways to get there a lot quicker. So um, I, I'm climbing up this mountain real quick, and uh, this isn't the way. I don't believe. Uh, there's a lot of weird holes in the game on certain mountains where you can jump on certain spots, but you can't jump on others. So what you want to do is kind of like trick the game a little bit. You want to jump side to side, as you guys will see right here uh, in you know a couple minutes. You guys will see me sort of messing with the game a little bit, you know, finding out its little tricks and holes or whatever. And I don't think those will get patched. It's not like it's a big deal. It's helping us out, you know, making it a lot easier for us. But um, that's, uh, that's that. And uh, I completely forgot what I was going to say. I had another thing to say. But, uh, yeah, I completely forgot. So, uh, this, the game, it's already been a week, and my brother still hasn't even beaten it. And this, my brother wakes up at 7 in the morning, comes to play this thing, and, uh, he'll probably stop playing at 6 o'clock. So, he's not even done with it. There's actually two sort of stories in this game. Uh, there's one where you have to, uh, uh I don't know if I should tell you guys, actually. Maybe it's kind of obvious, but I don't know. It wasn't too obvious for me, so I'm not going to say it. But uh, anyways, as you can see right here, I'm kind of climbing side to side a little bit. I'm trying to find a little bit of the holes in the game. or uh, You know, some of them are rocks that I'm standing on, and some of them are just little weird patches that I'm actually standing on. So I'm just jumping side to side right here. As you can see, just moving, uh, trying to find my the, the sweet spot. And uh, look, just side to side uh, jumping because some spots I get stuck in and some spots I don't. And uh, here we are. This that's the uh, dragon's uh, thing, Majiggy, that we have to get to. And over here is where we're actually gonna get our first shout later on in this. Uh, we're not gonna fit it in this episode, but hopefully next episode you guys will be able to see it. And uh, all you gotta do is go down this place right here, and uh, you'll find the path. Now I'm pretty sure there was an easier way. You can probably just went around the mountain and find the path directly, but I didn't. I went into this way. So don't give me any hate comments, guys. Saying you idiot, you could have gone around. You know what? <laughs> I did it my way. You can do whatever way you want, you know, it's up to you. But uh, anyways, here are a couple bandits waiting for us, guys. So we're just going to take quick work of them. And uh, uh, looting is a big part of this game, so don't forget to loot these bandits. I believe I forget to loot one, maybe. Uh, so looting, at least early game, looting is very, very helpful. Hel helpful. Helpful as uh, you'll get a lot of the uh, their armor and everything. And uh, teabag for the win. You, I always got to teabag them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's the last time I'm going to tee back. Sorry, guys. I was just so tempted. I get the temptation. <laughs> Anyways, another bandit comes up uh, with his dagger or whatever. I oh, know that's actually a sword, I think. Yeah. It's a little puny bitch sword. Whatever. I oh, know it's not. Holy shit, that's actually big. <laughs> so we just take quick work of him. You know, not that hard. And uh, we're going to loot him as well. Take all his gold and stuff. And uh, you would. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this, but there is a weight amount that you can carry. So, uh,. You know, I am paying attention to that, and uh, later on, I'm probably going to have to drop some stuff. But uh, anyways, you guys, this is the end of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please get, leave, leave the video a like. It helps me out a lot. It helps balance out the trolls. And uh, don't forget to check me out on Twitter. Follow me there uh, if you guys want to talk to me, communicate with me, give me your opinions, thoughts, anything like that. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.